Hi, this is Gali Gofar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today, I'm going to be talking about high blood pressure and how to control it naturally with diet and lifestyle changes. High blood pressure, otherwise known as hypertension, is defined as a sustained elevated uh, blood pressure measured by indirectly by an inflatable cuff that's put on your hand and a pressure manometer. Uh, hypertension often involves many body organs, including the heart, the endocrine system, the kidneys, and the nervous system. Hypertension has a worldwide burden uh, all over the world on human quality of life and healthcare systems. Hypertension increases mortality uh, and also raises the risk of heart disease, kidney disease, heart failure, and stroke. One out of every three adults 20 years of age or older in the United States has hypertension. Uh, so it's a major, major issue. Hypertension affects over 1 billion people globally. 75% of those diagnosed with hypertension are managed with hypertensive medications. However, these medications are successful in reducing blood pressure only in about 50% of patients. A person's blood pressure is not constant throughout the day and varies um, depending on many different factors. Therefore, to be diagnosed with hypertension, you must have your blood pressure measured in a, during a few separate visits before being diagnosed with the condition. The classification used for diagnosing high blood pressure is that of the World Health Organization, which states that normal blood pressure has a systolic uh, blood pressure, the high blood pressure um, of 140 milligram uh, mercury, and diastolic uh, blood pressure has um, less than 90 millimeter mercury. Now, borderline hypertension, uh, systolic uh, high blood pressure is between 141 and 159 uh, millimeter of mercury and diastolic is between 91 and 94 uh, millimeter mercury. Hypertension on is uh, considered um, hyperten you're considered hypertensive if you have a systolic blood pressure of 160 millimeter mercury or a diastolic lower blood pressure of over 95. Um, when blood pressure either elevates to severely high levels or is borderline high regularly, then you can experience severe headaches, chest pain, vision problems, difficulty breathing, confusion, and even nosebleeds, uh, leading to health risks that are associated with high blood pressure, as I mentioned earlier. Now, even a 10 millimeter mercury reduction in the diastolic blood pressure, in the high blood pressure, will have significant health improvements. With this reduction in blood pressure, you may see a 17% decrease in your risk for heart disease. You will find a 15% decrease in your risk of stroke as well. Now, uh, hypertension is influenced by several factors, including your age, your weight, your food choices, your environment, and genetic factors, and the interaction between all of these factors. There are ways to control high blood pressure naturally by making better diet and lifestyle choices, which I want to talk about right now. So the first one, you want to maintain a healthy weight. Maintaining a healthy weight by eating right and exercising regularly is crucial for maintaining healthy blood pressure. Avoiding obesity or a body mass index of over 28 will reduce your risk for high blood pressure. In one study led uh, by the Department of Cardiology in Chengdu, researchers found that obesity increased the risk of high blood pressure with the prevalence of obesity-related hypertension exceptionally high in adults aged between 40 and 80 years. However, not only overweight people suffer from hypertension. Okay, the second uh, um, lifestyle uh, choice that you have to make is to take on regular aerobic exercise. There is a strong evidence that people who are less physically active or l uh, live sedentary lifestyles are more prone to hypertension. Aerobic exercise such as running, swimming, cycling, these all of these help you maintain a healthy weight and improve heart health, which helps lower the risk of high blood pressure. In one study, uh, following the responses to aerobic and, on the other hand, resistance uh, uh, training in people with high blood pressure, they found a significant decrease in uh, 
blood pressure for those engaging in regular aerobic exercise. However, there was no change or minimal reduction in those doing the resistance training. So aerobic exercise is the way to go. Um, the next lifestyle uh, change that you want to make is to limit your salt intake. There is a direct relationship between blood pressure values and excessive salt consumption. In one study, um, uh, in, in, in done in the unit in Milan uh, for cardiology, uh, researchers found that uh, a direct link between salt intake and hypertension. The research shows that decreasing salt in the diet has a favorable effect on hypertensive people. Limiting salt intake leads to better vascular function, better function of all your um, arteries, particularly the large arteries. The World Health Organization recommends limiting salt intake to about 2 grams per day. However, I am not only talking about the salt that you may be adding to your foods before eating them. Uh, this added salt at the table and during cooking only accounts to about 11% of the salt intake in the United States. In contrast, the majority of salt intake comes from processed foods. The daily salt intake for Americans over the age of 2 years is 3.6 grams, which is almost double the recommended levels by the World Health Organization. Therefore, salt restriction is one of the foundations of an hypertensive, antihypertensive diet and with the greatest decrease in blood pressure associated with the greatest decrease in salt intake. Studies suggest that managing your salt intake is a critical component in managing a high blood pressure. The best way to manage salt intake is by avoiding processed foods that contain added salt. Prepare your food at home as often as possible and use vegetable salt instead of table salt. Vegetable salts are made from naturally salty vegetables like celery. These, uh, these uh, salts, these vegetable salts add flavor to your foods and also they add a nutritional value without causing damage to the body. You also want to drink plenty of water uh, to support your kidneys in removing the salt from your body. You also want to consume fruits and vegetables, especially those that are rich in potassium. Um, Higher blood potassium levels are associated with lower blood pressure since they lead to an improved sodium potassium ratio in the diet. Also, when taking potassium as a supplement with magnesium rich foods, you will find a synergistic effect on blood pressure. Uh, high magnesium foods include leafy green vegetables, nuts, whole grains, fruits, and legumes. Now there is also something called smart salt, which was produced with this in mind with the magnesium. Um, uh, adding the magnesium and it is composed of 50% sodium, 25% potassium and 25% magnesium and you can buy it on Amazon. This salt is a better alternative for hypertensive people than ordinary table salt but I still recommend vegetable salt as the best alternative. It takes only three days to get used to lower salt levels in your diet and the vegetable salts also have magnesium and potassium in small amounts. You also want to drink pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice is rich in phytochemicals and polyphenols, which have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory functions. Also, many studies show that pomegranate juice may prevent the development of high blood pressure and also help reduce blood pressure. Now, uh, so you want to consume fresh uh, pomegranate juice is the best. Um, also a high fiber diet. Now the DASH diet, which is um, uh, short for dietary approaches to stop hypertension. It's an eating plan to lower or control high blood pressure. It emphasizes foods that are lower in salt and fruits and vegetables that are rich in potassium and magnesium and calcium. The DASH diet is not an ideal uh, diet, but it, it, it is hundreds times more healthy than the average Western diet. However, the optimal macronutrient intake to prevent heart health, uh, the Omni uh, study, demonstrated that within a DASH-like dietary approach, so if you're consuming um, a DASH-like diet, then substituting the protein for carbohydrates and substituting the fats for carbohydrates also improved uh, lowered blood pressure even more uh, and this makes the diet more health friendly as well 
for health and lowered uh, blood pressure, your diet should be very rich in fiber. In an, in an analysis involving uh, five trials conducted among hypertensive people, fiber intake was found to significantly reduce both systolic and dia uh, diastolic blood pressure. Um, now the US dietary guidelines recommend 25 to 30 grams of fiber a day from food. So this is what you want to aim even more if you can. Now omega-3 fatty acid supplementation is also um, very important. It helps regulate inflammation, it reduces inflammatory mediators and the lev level of oxylipins. These are uh, low. These help lower your blood pressure. The evidence of the beneficial effects of omega-3 fatty acids in research studies is very, very consistent among many studies. I recommend supplementing with plant-based omega-3 fatty acid supplements five times a week. You also want to consume garlic. Garlic has antioxidant and hypertensive effects due to its allicin content. Allicin is a sulfur compound found in garlic and it promotes a decrease in blood pressure. Many studies on garlic and hypertension show a significant reduction in blood pressure. Although the form of garlic uh, varies between different studies, um, uh, I recommend that you supplement with garlic extract that has at least 1.2 milligrams of s allyl cysteine five times a week and uh, while well, you change your diet and also add garlic or you can add garlic um, uh, to flavor your cooking. It enhances the flavor of the foods instead of using salt which is a great way. Also, you want to consume green tea. Green tea is rich in polyphenols known as catechins, which uh, especially the epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG. Uh, it stimulates nitric oxid, uh, oxide synthesis. It, it, it stimulates its production in the body. Nitric oxide is used as a medication to reduce blood pressure in severe cases. It causes blood vessels to relax and dilate, lowering blood pressure. This effect is also achieved with green tea consumption. But also, another beneficial effect of EGCG is that it not only reduces blood pressure, which is basically uh, the symptom, it also uh, has an anti-inflammatory effect that protects against blood vessel damage. EGCG also uh, stops fluid retention, helping reduce blood pressure. Green tea consumption is a great way to add flavor also to water for those of you who do not like to drink plain water. So long as sugar is not added to it, you may add stevia leaves as a natural sweetener if you really need the sweet flavor. You also want to reduce alcohol consumption. It is well established that excessive alcohol consumption is associated with elevated uh, uh, blood pressure. Now. Um, which leads to hypertension. A 2008 study showed that even a low alcohol consumption of one drink a day increased the risk of hypertension in men. Now in women it was slightly different. They need four or more drinks of alcohol a day uh, to show association with hypertension. So to summarize, it's important that you know that high blood pressure doesn't always have symptoms. Um, and untreated hypertension can lead to the severe d diseases that I spoke about. You should have your blood pressure checked regularly if you are at a high risk age or you are drinking regularly or you have uh, a higher body weight. Uh, the consumption of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, seeds, nuts and low consumption of salt, meats, sweets, processed foods and alcohol have all been proven to produce a significant reduction in blood pressure. Supplementation with garlic and omega-3 fatty acids while drinking green tea and pomegranate juice were found to support health and reduce high blood pressure and the risk of developing high blood pressure in the future. You also want to incorporate regular exercise in addition to your healthy diet. 